Welcome back. We've got Dr. Doug Friday and Mandy Kent Wilkinson here with us this morning. And also, um, Maddie Wilkinson is going to be joining us in the next segment. She's your test patient. Yes. And we're going to be talking, we're talking about the Optimized Healing Center. So t it's in Port Elgin. Tell me all about it. What do you do there? Oh, well, we do a number of things there. Um, but one of the main things we do is called the Brain Achievement Program. So we work with uh, individuals that have uh, maybe weak areas in their brain, and we find those weak areas by different testing we do, uh, and we train those areas. And uh, that optimizes their, um, their outcome, their interaction in uh, society, their ability to learn, um, their behavior, all those things. So this would cover, uh, I mean, you, you automatically, when you think of things with the brain, think of somebody who's had a brain injury or something, but this is mm -hmm. so much more than that. Oh yeah, it is. It's, it's basically to optimize uh, function, brain function. So, um, you know, you don't have to have a, uh, an injury or a problem per se. I mean, you can, uh, you can want to increase sports performance. You can increase uh, job performance. Um, so, so sky how, is the limit. We're going to see how it works in the next segment, the, some of the testing. But So if someone were looking for um, increasing their job performance, exactly mm -hmm. how would you go about that? What are you, what are you testing for? And uh, well, there's different tests that we could do, but um, one would be to use the interactive metronome and test their timing and their sequencing in their brain which timing and sequencing is, we need that for everything we do. Me talking right now, mm -hmm. we need that. So if we get a baseline where your timing and sequencing is at, and then we train it with the interactive metronome, which Mandy's going to show you later, um, that will increase their timing and sequencing, which increases their uh, function. So, you know, it, it, it will increase job for function, job performance, um, sports performance, we yeah. probably also look at their heart rate, blood pressure. Um, we have tools that can assess uh, different neurofeedback and biofeedback pieces. So that anxiety piece sometimes prevents the learning or prevents um, successful job performance. So we test the whole gamut and then we look at which pathway is going to be most beneficial for the client. Yeah, so for example, in, in the business world, if, if you're having to give um, presentations mm -hmm. and talks, and you get very anxious about that and therefore your performance isn't what it could be um, by doing some of these uh, tests and um, identifying uh, some weaker areas and then we can work on that then your performance and giving that performance you know there's less anxiety like Mandy was saying uh, so your performance is that much better so it's really, and I mean, that's so important for folks who want to get ahead in, mm -hmm. the pr in their professional lives to be able to do that. And I can certainly see with uh, athletes how the timing and mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. all of that fits in. And I mean, I think today's athletes have to be so much more as well because they have to be able to put a public uh, face out there and Very it, true. they're involved in a lot more than just going out and, and playing the game and doing the best they can there. Mm -hmm. So there are um, nine of you in your, is it a clinic? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a center. A, it's a center. center, and we have we have nine individuals in there. So tell all, me what it covers. Well, okay. we, it, it covers mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> um, and we have a, we have a psychologist. Um, we have a chiropractor, myself, uh, and we have uh, Mandy and, and Penny who do the brain training. Um, and we have a massage therapist. That's right. We have two life coaches, as well. Um, we have a foot care specialist. Specialist. Um, that's right. Penny is an occupational therapist. My background is kinesiology. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all nine of us so far. So it's mm. basically from head to toe. Yes, it is. Inside yeah. and out. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, tell me about this because you know you um, you hear about things and and as I said when you think of. Um, brain, anything to do with the brain, you're thinking of injury, but mm -hmm. I mean, you've got uh, children who might have a, a learning disability mm -hmm. or even adults, I mean. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Adults as well. Yeah. So if I were and, to... And what we do find is, is that it does seem to tend to run in the family. So if mom and dad have had issues, then the, the child 
can have the issue as well. That's absolutely true. We saw a new patient yesterday, and the comment was this, this individual, this child is having a hard time taking in the information that's coming in through their ears. So their auditory processing skills are poor, which means it's really hard for them to learn something by hearing it. And at school, that's ex that is used almost exclusively. Right? They tell kids, this is what we're gonna learn today. And the comment from the parent was, oh, her dad's had an auditory processing issue his whole life. That's never been attended to, and now they're facing it in their child as well. I guess the good news is that now that they know what it is, mm -hmm. so they can, they can get they it can addressed address it. in the... Right. We can train it, absolutely. Yeah. Because we, we tend to, uh, adults, um, in years gone by, you tend to um, compensate for it. Like uh, I myself uh, is full-blown ADD. So over the years, I've learned how to compensate, how to quiet my mind. Um, I remember in school, I used to have to study maybe probably six times longer than, than friends to actually retain the information. Um, so we learn to compensate, but at what cost? So that's yeah. what we want to do, is we want to help these kids and adults, um, you know, just have a, have a better uh, life experience. So tell me about a visit to the clinic then, if, if, if a new patient comes in mm -hmm. um, with a, you know, a problem of some sort. Mm -hmm then what happens? Well, usually what we do is yeah. we have the initial visit and uh, that's a, a no charge consultation. It's just come, they come in and they meet with uh, the team and we discuss their problem to, to see if we may be able to help them. And then if they think we can and we think we can, then the next step would be testing. testing. That's right. So we have um, Penny, who's our occupational therapist, uh, does some biofeedback and neurofeedback testing. She also uses a test called the IVA that can measure visual and auditory attention. So being at school, if we just, if we assume that our patient is a school child, um, that person needs to be able to pay attention to one sound, needs to be, be able to pay attention to the right sound. So sometimes in a noisy classroom, there are multiple things going on. And if all of those sounds are equal to that student's ears, um, they're not gonna be taking in the teacher sentence. It may be mixed in with the air conditioner and the guy beside them. Um, I would do some, testing with the interactive metronome, which tests auditory processing as well as visual processing. Neural timing, so everything in your brain has to happen at the right time and in the right order. Dr. Doug does a posture exam. Mm -hmm. um, so we do a series of tests, usually three or four visits full of testing. And then we have a report of findings meeting where we sit down with the family and often with the, the client and we discuss what we found and what we think the path forward looks like. Okay, we have less than a minute left now, and I want to talk about um, how everything all ties in when someone comes and they're having the treatment, for instance, chiropractic, mm -hmm. how that ties, ties, in. ties into it as well, and with massage therapy, because mm -hmm. as you said, it's healing from top to bottom, inside to out. Mm -hmm. So we only have 30 seconds, so we'll, well have to save that for the next one. Okay, we'll <laughs> save that, or I can try and give you a 30-second nutshell <laughs> answer on that. <laughs> 20 seconds now. Okay, well... Uh, um, we're really dealing with a sensory input problem uh -huh. and an output problem. And everything that we, we do is trying to increase your body's ability to feed sensory input up to your brain and then make a choice and get that output or that reaction out. Okay. All right. We're going to be back. We're going to see how um, the, I forgot the word, interactive metronome. Right, works when we return to Gray County Life on Rogers TV.